has gone into welcome back to the brand new video and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can enable dlss4 for upscaling and improving fps in all of your games by nvidia dropped recently and in this video i'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you guys can enable dlss upscaling methods even in the unsupported games so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said let's get started Alright, so first things first, you must have to have an NVIDIA app. If you don't have it, download it because this app is the only app which supports DLSS 4 at this moment. What you guys have to do is open it up and head over to the drivers section and make sure that you always have the latest game ready drivers installed on your PC. If you scroll down a little bit, you guys can see that they have added a DLSS 4 compatibility issues. So good thing that some of these issues are already solved by the time I'm making this video, but there are a lot of games which do not support DLSS 4 at this moment. So once you've already installed it, head over to the graphics section and over here, select the game for which you guys need the DLSS 4 upscaling. Now, once again, here is the amount of FPS I am getting without the upscaling. Right over here, what you guys have to do is just check out if it supports DLSS override super resolution and frame generation. At this moment, I cannot select any of these settings. So what you guys have to do is uh, download the NVIDIA console command for DLSS. This file is absolutely free that you guys can get it from the link in the description below right now. Once you download it, simply open it up and you guys can see the location. What you guys have to do is copy this whole location and then press Windows and R key all together and then type in app data right over here. Then head over to local, scroll down to find Nvidia in this list and then open up Nvidia Corporation. Then head over to Nvidia app and then NV backend. Right over here, you'll find something called application storage.json and before touching this file what you guys have to do is right click on any empty area and then head over to new folder and name it backup simply open this folder and copy this file into this folder and if that is already there simply replace this file this is a backup just in case all of the things doesn't work out as intended now what you guys have to do is head over to nv backend and then open up application storage.json as notepad now once you're here i would recommend you guys to open this view in split screen just so you guys can do everything correctly all right now once you are here you have to copy the first command right over here press ctrl and c and paste it in the find section click on search and that should be it corresponding to it you have to copy this line and then paste it in the replace section and then click on replace all now you have to do that for all of these lines right over here so simply find it and click on the search button and then you have to copy this second one and then paste it right over here and then click on replace all then go for the third one simply copy it paste it over here click on the search button and then you have to copy the third one from the second line and then you have to paste it here click on replace all then for the fourth one copy it from the first paragraph simply press ctrl and c together paste it right over here and then click on search then copy the fourth line from the second paragraph and then paste it right over here click on replace all fifth one the exact same thing search for it and then you're gonna have to click on replace all right over here and once you don't do that simply press ctrl and s to save this new file make sure to save it and once that is done simply close it now right click on this file head over to properties and then click on read only just in case nvidia app does not override these settings click on apply and then close it now what you guys have to do is simply restart your pc once all right once you have restarted your pc what you guys have to do is simply open up your nvidia app right over here then head back to the graphics section and then go down to marvel rivals and now as you guys can see we have the option for dlss override firstly let's start with the override model preset you're gonna have to head over to the second one that is use different settings for each dlss technology then for the frame generation you're gonna have to leave it as it is reconstruction go with latest and super resolution go with latest click on apply next is dlss override click on that and then click on dlaa if you want to use 100 percent scaling or go with 33 percent for ultra performance for my graphic card i would recommend dlaa and then click on apply and this is how you can unlock dlss for for any game on your pc i can simply do the same thing for any game like fortnite right over here simply go a little bit down dlss override model click on latest click on apply and for the super resolution go with dlaa click on apply as well so guys i hope this solution might have fixed all of your needs 
If it did, make sure to comment down below and let me know how it helped you. If you guys have any question, you can leave that for me in the comment section as well and I'll be trying to reply each and every one of you. That is it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button because I want to reach 250,000 subscribers as soon as possible. For more useful guides and to support me, consider subscribing and we will see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.